A photograph taken several months ago has resurfaced. It did so after the fake missile alert that is now drawing death threats, even racial hatred. But the person in the photo says he wasn't even at work the day the alert went out. Jeff Wong has had to endure it all because of an article that posted his picture inside the Emergency Operations Center. Well, the picture went viral in social media and national news outlets, mistakenly identifying him as the one that sent the alert. Manolo Morales spoke with him today and shares his story. Manolo. Well, Dash Wong tells me it's an experience that he would never want anybody else to go through. He says he was on Kauai that day, and he wound up helping other people when that alert came out. The picture shows Jeff Wong inside the operations center and was taken in July for an article about the state putting together the procedures for sending a missile alert. Wong had no idea that the picture with his name on it would resurface after January 13th, making him the face of the missile blunder. I was shocked to, to see that, to, to the, the fact that that picture, you know, came about again. At first it seemed harmless. It didn't take long before the threats rained down in the office and on social media. To the point that they were racially derogatory. People were questioning my loyalty to uh, the state of Hawaii and to the United States. They would say, you know, Wong should be shot. He should be waterboarded. Uh, he's a Chinese agent. Uh, he's, you know, again, going back to the racial derogatory comments that are made. I mean, you name it, it's, it's thrown out there. He says even national news outlets used a picture and blamed him. And it got to the point that he was uneasy about going out in public. The fear was there, definitely, definitely. You know, you want to be sure that, you know, who knows, somebody may recognize you from that photograph. Somebody may have that type of memory. And Wong was actually at a Kauai hotel for a conference when it happened. He wound up helping guests and residents find the best place to take cover. Conveying that message of calm got everybody to not panic and to listen and to hunker in and, and wait for, for uh, confirmation. Now, January 13th, the day of the false alarm, was also the fifth anniversary of the day Wong got hired at the Emergency Management Agency. He says he won't be celebrating that day in the future. Howard, over to you.